Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, both Bitcoin and Ethereum are still fighting with these important resistance levels. And while this is happening, the European Central Bank just raised interest rates by another 0.5% ahead of the next Federal Reserve meeting, which is happening in six days from now. So I'll be talking about that later in the video. Definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the daily Bitcoin to US dollar chart, and right now the price of Bitcoin is still battling this range of resistance, which is coming into play in between 24.3k up to 25.2k. So obviously 25.2k is still really the level to break for the price of Bitcoin, and of course we need to see at least a daily candle close, but ideally a weekly candle close above 25.2k in order to confirm that breakout. So at least for now, as I mentioned in my last video, we have not yet seen a confirmed breakout, but we also have not yet seen a confirmed rejection. We are still in the test phase, testing this resistance. And as I also mentioned in my last video on the channel, if we do end up seeing a breakout to the upside here, we have to watch out for a new bearish divergence potentially forming because as of right now, the daily Bitcoin RSI is still forming lower highs while the price action could potentially form a new higher high in the candle closes. But for these divergences, we need to pay attention to the candle closes. And as of right now, we have not yet set a new higher high in place in the daily candle closes in the price action. And as for support, in case we see another rejection from this range of resistance, then in that case for support, I'll be looking closer towards 23,000 by Based on the volume profile indicator, but in a more bearish scenario, if we break below 23K, then in that case, I would expect support sitting at around $21,000 per Bitcoin based on the volume profile indicator. And in case you missed my last video on the channel, looking at the Bitcoin dominance, this is obviously trending to the upside. By the way, this is on the weekly time frame, So the Bitcoin dominance has been trending to the upside over the last three months or so. And once again, in in case you're new to all of this, the Bitcoin dominance trending to the upside basically means Bitcoin is outperforming the rest of the crypto market, at least as of right now, on average. Now, of course, that does not mean that Bitcoin is outperforming every single individual altcoin out there. But what it does mean is that on average, Bitcoin is doing better than most of the altcoins out there. So out of the majority of the altcoins, Bitcoin is currently performing better because it is regaining market share. That is what the Bitcoin dominance is when it is rising. It's regaining market share for Bitcoin. And so due to the Bitcoin dominance rising, this is placing extra pressure on the altcoin market. For example, right now, Ethereum is still struggling with this level of resistance here on the three-day time frame. And in case you're new to this channel, this important line of resistance is now sitting at around 1680 approximately. And once again, as of right now, the price is currently fighting against this resistance. And not only this line of resistance, but also this range of resistance here on the daily time frame, which is coming into play in between around 1650 to 1.7k. So at least for now, we have not yet seen a confirmed breakout to the upside. And even in that case, we have more resistance in between 1780 to 1.8k. And in a more bullish scenario, if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 1.8K, then in that case, I would expect the next important resistance to come into play at around $2,000. And as for support on the daily time frame, in case we see a further rejection again from this range of resistance, then in that case, I would expect support in between around 1550 to 1.6K based on the volume profile indicator. And in a more bearish scenario, if we see a break below 1550, then in that case, we could find a bit of short-term support at around 
1.5k, but anything below 1.5k would be quite bearish for the price of ETH because we don't have a lot of support immediately below 1.5k. In fact, the next support to the downside below 1.5k is coming to play at around 1350 to 1360 approximately. But at least for now, the price of ETH is still in this test phase where it's basically testing this range of resistance and we have not yet confirmed a proper breakout or a proper rejection, at least as of right now. And in other news today, the European Central Bank just raised interest rates by another 0.5%, which will put extra pressure on the European banking sector. And on top of putting pressure on the European banks, this also puts some pressure on the Federal Reserve with the next Fed meeting coming up in around six days from now. And in case you're wondering what this chart is, it shows the probabilities that have been priced into the futures market for the next interest rate hike at the Federal Reserve. And previously, just before the European Central Bank interest rate hike, these odds were closer to 50-50 between either zero hike at the next Fed meeting or a 25 basis point hike. But now that the European Central Bank has hiked rates by 50 basis points, this has now increased the probability of the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates by 25 basis points or 0.25%. And so at least as of right now, there is currently around an 83% chance of the Federal Reserve hiking rates by 25 basis points or 0.25% at the next Fed meeting, which is in around six days from now. And there's currently a 17% chance of zero rate hike, rates basically staying the same same at the next Fed meeting. So obviously, at least based on the current probabilities that are being priced into the market right now, there is a very high chance that we will see a 25 basis point hike at the next Fed meeting in around six days from now. But when we get closer to that Fed meeting, I'll be sure to keep you updated on all of this information because between now and then, these probabilities can indeed change. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on any of these important videos. And if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is going either up or down. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.